All right, I remember slide rules. Um, I graduated high school in 1974, and that's about the time when electronic calculators first were entering the marketplace. Um, they were quite a new thing, and they were quite expensive. I remember taking physics in high school using a slide rule. Um, by the time I got to college, though, a lot of people had, had uh, calculators, and my graduation present uh, actually was an HP calculator. Um, it was like the newest thing. It had come out like the year before, and um, my parents bought me, knowing I was going to be a physics major, my parents bought me a, uh, an HP 45 calculator. Uh, I think it cost them $400, which was all the money in the world for them. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Um, but I do, uh, I do still appreciate slide rules. And uh, there were special slide rules built by certain companies for certain tasks. And uh, Hewlett Packard had a bunch of calculators, uh, slide rules, uh, for doing certain things. And I, and I am lucky to have one of them. I think they were done in the 1960s. Um, and I'll put a link down below. If you've never seen these things, uh, go to the link and there's some JavaScripts. And so you, you can electronically slide one of these things. And there's about four or five of them uh, uh, doing different, different types of calculations. Uh, the one I have uh, is on one side a reflectometer calculator. And on the other side is a mismatch error limits calculator. Um, I, I don't use this one. I don't really, I think I kind of understand it a little bit. We'll go through it. I probably will get it wrong so you can correct me. But I, but I, but I understand most of this one and uh, we, we can take a look at it. Now, uh, I did a video once on uh, do you use return loss or do you use SWR? Uh, if you grew up in ham radio land, you do SWR. If you grew up in RF design, you do return loss. Um, and so here's the calculator. Uh, you can, you, of course, there are uh, um, tables that you can use, but this one. So uh, let's say that you have a um, SWR of 2 to 1, okay? So we'll put the little arrow here at the 2, all right? And then I can read off the return loss. The return loss would be around 9.5 dB. Um, negative sign if you want to be accurate. Uh, so I keep saying that I like uh, th uh, t 20 dB, uh, saying that that's, that's a really, really good number. And we'll come here to 20 dB, and we can see that's a SWR of uh, 1.22. Um, and so you can use these two scales. Um, the uh, SWR uh, will change depending on direct, direct uh, coupler directivity. I've never used that before. I just used the, the two things. Um, you can see that the, the, the internal slide here, it, it doesn't, these, these numbers don't change, right? There, there's no changing between these. So the little arrow really is just pointing to f four different tables. And so uh, if you had, like, say, uh, a, a SWR of two, you can read off the return loss. You can also read off the mismatch, mismatch loss of 0.5 dB, and you can also read off the reflection coefficient of uh, 0.34. Um, so anyway, there are different numbers specifying the same thing, and there's a bunch of uh, notes on here. Uh, there's a little uh, calculator at the bottom too, uh, sort of telling you the differences between dBs in voltages or dBs in power. Of course, we all know that's a factor of two, but you could say if we, if we had a, a dB loss, uh, a dB change of 6 dB, that's uh, double the voltage or four times the power, right? So 3 dB is double the power, uh, 6 dB is double the voltage. Um, so that's that's the little handy thing at the bottom here. Um, and on this side, uh, it has more to do with a lot of SWR stuff. So um, if you say you had an SWR of uh, 1.2, then you can uh, read off here um, what the maximum phase angle error is depending on the SWR of, on the other side. So you have an SWR on one side, an SWR on the other side. So if your SWR is 1.2 on this side, 1.2 on that side, you have a half a degree phase angle error. 
there's things for mismatch errors and uh, if you have an SWR of two on one side and two on the other side, then your total is four. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I don't really ever use this or really understand it very well. Um, and I, I barely understand, <laughs> I barely understand the site, but go to the link. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. That's, that's kind of fun to look at.